Okay, so this is my quick uh, unboxing and initial impressions of the GSI uh, Jabber Press. Um, if you're a coffee connoisseur and you absolutely need the best that coffee grounds can produce if treated right, uh, a French press or a coffee press is really, by all indications, anything you read on the internet is the best way to go. I'm not an ultralight backpacker. My coffee is very uh, important to me. I'll drink instant, I'll drink cowboy coffee, I don't care, but um, I thought I would um, try something better. And uh, anyways, we'll see how this goes. So, just pop them open like this here. Do, 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 do. Standard instructions. And, he was in the bag, I had him out earlier. So there it is right there. Basically, it's uh, the, um, the uh, uh, curfe, or however you want to pronounce it, pronounce it, sorry, is, uh, is um, it's cold polyester with uh, an EVA sleeve, which is this guy right here, that can be taken off, as you see, to, uh, to clean it. Um, I had uh, already washed this out. I haven't used it yet. Um, holds 890 mill milliliters, and the actual weight of both combined is uh, 292 grams. So, there's you have your plunger. And what I'm going to do is try coffee out of it. I really can't say much beyond that since I haven't had it out on the field with me. Uh, it's heavy for, I mean, for 292 grams and you factor in all your other gear. It's a, it's a luxury item. Probably something you'd want to use um, car camping. Or if you're willing to sacrifice some other non-essential gear. This is really non-essential, but for me it's essential. Uh, you, you, could, you could make it work. Anyways, I'm going to boil up some water and uh, try some coffee. Back in a moment. Okay, so I have the water boiling. The instructions say to use uh, medium grind coffee. You don't want anything that's too fine. Uh, you end up getting sediment into your, into your uh, coffee there. It says two tablespoons, but really that's a matter of taste. I'm going to put in one, two, three tablespoons of my favorite Jabba blend. And then I'm going to get the hot water on the stove and pour that guy up. One second there. Okay, so here goes with the hot water. And I got a crack in my um, cheap dollar store measuring cup, hence the drippage going on there. Okay, let's move that out of the way. I'm going to give it a little stir. That's not enough water, but I like my coffee strong. I'm going to place the plunger assembly on. Now they say if you shouldn't have to force this, and if it starts getting uh, stuck, for better words, just back off on it a bit, and then force it down again. So I'm slowly bringing this guy down, and I'm going to put it in the insulating EV, uh, EVA uh, sleeve. And the manual says to let it it for about four minutes and I mean longer you let it sit the stronger the coffee is going to be um, four minutes should be fine so I'll come back in four minutes and then pour up a pour up a mug okay so we're back that's been about five minutes actually let me get my uh, trusty mug 
And um, on the top of this, you can, you can actually shut it so nothing comes out. There's an arrow up here. And uh, one second here. I'm just going to take this out of the frame so I can line this up, and I'll tell you why. There's a nice pour handle here. So you obviously want it lined up with the spout so when you're pouring. Anyways, let's pour up. Let's pour this baby up. Now, I do like drinking my coffee black. I sometimes have cream and sugar, but I'm going to try this. Yeah, that's good. Anyway, that's my initial impressions of the uh, GSI Jabber Press 30 fluid ounces. Um, I'll take it in backpacking. I mean, the coffee's going to actually taste better out uh, in, in the... Uh, in the uh, woods as we all know nothing better than camp coffee right anyways thanks for uh watching and uh happy trails bye bye